Hi, this is Steve from Poker Copilot. In this video, I'll show you how to configure PokerStars so that it supports Poker Copilot's uh, HUD and hand tracking. We'll start here in Poker Copilot's main screen. I've got PokerStars running. Actually, I'm running PokerStars.es because we're based here in sunny Barcelona. The ES is the Spanish version of PokerStars. You'll see that Poker Copilot's detected that PokerStars is running and that I haven't enabled hand history. How to fix? Let's click on the blue hyperlink. And here we see Poker Copilot's diagnostics window. If we go down the left hand side here, wherever there's a red light, that indicates there's something we need to change to get Poker Copilot fully wor uh, working. So the first red light, saving hand histories, no. And we'll see the, you can see these instructions here telling you step by step how to enable hand histories in PokerStars. So let's follow the instructions. The first step tells me to go to the PokerStars lobby, choose settings, playing history, hand history, All right? Step two is telling me to check the checkbox labeled save my hand history. So I'm going to do that. Step three, we have to keep hand histories for 9,999 days. So the default is 30 days. This means that after 30 days, PokerStars might delete hand history files. It's good to keep them in case something goes wrong, in case you, you want to uh, recreate your Poker Copilot database. So we'll put in the maximum available, which is just below 10,000 days. Step four, ensure language is set to English. Language, English, all good. So I'm gonna click apply changes and okay. Let's go back to Poker Copilot and the lights turned from red to green. So we'll go down and find the next red light Saving tournament summaries disabled. Again, we have step-by-step -step instructions on what we have to do to get this working. Again, we have to go to the PokerStars lobby and choose settings and playing history and tournament summaries. Step two, again, we have to check the checkbox labeled save my tournament summaries. Step three, change keep tournament summaries for 9,999 days, just like we did with hand histories. We'll keep them as long as possible. And the final step, ensure language is set to English. Language, English, done. We'll apply changes and click OK. Now let's see how we're doing. Great, and now the red lights turned green. We've only got one red light still here, preferred seat set, no. The head up display requires you to set your preferred seat for all table sizes and poker stars. And as before, we've got step-by-step -step instructions. The first step tells us to choose settings, table appearance, and preferred seat. Step two, for each table size, select your preferred seat. I like to sit near the bottom of the table, so I'll set that for uh, 10 max, 9 max, 8 max. It's really important you do this for every table size. Without this information, Poker Copilot doesn't know where to put the HUD panels that belong to each player, and you might see the HUD appear above the wrong player. So apply changes and OK. We'll go back to Poker Stars, uh, to Poker Copilot. And it's green. We're done. Now, when you play Coco Poker Stars, your hands will be imported into Poker Copilot and you'll see the HUD.